So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for a Power Query video and in today's Power Query video I'm going to do a video that I think is needed. It is, um, I'm going to show you how to do transformations on column headers in Power Query and we're going to do all crazy stuff. So I ask you on the community tab on the YouTube channel what were your most common transformations and I think I've got most of them some of them I didn't understand let me know in the comment box with an example from this to this so I really know what you want and but still I think it covers a lot let's move to Power Query now here's the thing I've been debating to myself it's like how do I do this do I write everything or and you know I tried edit this writing the code and it's just a pain so the, the code is already in here. I'm just going to tell you what it does. Okay, so you will be able to download this file and then you're good to go. So first case, we have camel casing. So you want to have from camel casing to text with underscore, no, with a space on column header. So this is what you do. This is how the code looks like. And it's actually very easy. This part of the code splits lowercase to uppercase okay so when it finds lowercase and then it finds an uppercase it just splits the text and text combined puts the two together with a space in between easy so now if you don't want a space you want an underscore you just put an underscore if you want a dot put a dot I mean, it's up to you how you want to split the camel case. You can do it anywhere you you want. Normally, um, recommended for Power BI, it is actually to, to use it business friendly. So that's how you do it. The next one, proper casing. That means that you have the columns like that, and then you want to put it in proper casing. So this is exactly the same thing. Table transform columns, and then you put text proper. You want to have everything uppercase, you put text upper. You want to put everything in lowercase, you put text lower. I mean, you can put anything that you want. I'm going to leave it here in proper for when you download, but proper case, it puts capital letters on the first letter of the word. Next one. So fun. It was so fun to do this. Okay, so now we have... Uh, the name of the column, the name of the second column. What we want to do is to add a prefix to that. Say that you have two different sources and you want to know which column goes from which source. So to add a text, you do table prefix columns and then this is the text that you add. So if you want to add something else, you put something else. Next one, remove text. So we go in here, you have whatever table name dot column name you don't want that you just want to get rid of the text dot or like you know prefix dot so what you do is table transform names text replace and then you put text you know here the text that you want to replace if you want to leave the dot you can just remove it from here and the dot will appear obviously you don't want to do that but i just want to show you and this is how it will work. If you want to put something else in there, you can just put it like that. Say, oh, I want to have an underscore before or whatever. Okay, so this is very flexible. You can do anything you like. Next one, remove numbers. So you have your columns like that. You have a name and then you have a number of digits. I read somewhere that you want to have it in the, in the community tab. So how do you split that? Okay, so you do text select upper no 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 this is what happens text select i'm going to show you text select goes and grabs um column a column b text proper let me remove that too uh so you see what's going on so you have column A and then a number, column B and then a number. So 
If you want to remove the numbers and you just do text select, this will find the, the, all the capital letters and get rid of everything else. That's not what we want. So what we need to do is to do text, in this case, upper. So we convert everything to uppercase and then we remove all the letters. And then if we want to have it in proper case, so you can put text proper or text lower or whatever you want. You can find the, the big capital and you name it, you can do it. Okay. So now this is the next case. You have sales dot and then between brackets, the name of the column, and you want to have only the name of the column. You don't want to have anything else. How do you do that? So you do text between the limiters. So this is the first delimiter. This is the next one. And then you just want to have whatever is inside and that's what it does. It takes it out. You see? Before, after, before, after. How cool is that? It's so simple. Next one, text outside brackets. So now we want the opposite case. We have first column system A, first column, second column system B like here. And we want to have just first column, second column, nothing else. So what you do is you extract the text before the first bracket. And if it's not the bracket that you want, if it's, for example, if it would be dot bracket, you can do dot bracket and then extract everything before. And you will extract that. If you want after, you just text after, because there is a text after the limiter, you see? And that's how it works. It's so, it's so easy. And then another one you told me is like, okay, we have a list of dates and we want to put it as dates. So there are two ways. You can unpivot these and do it, you know, with a normal one, or you can do it as a column header and then unpivot. Because with this video is about column headers, we're going to do it as column headers first. So there are two complications here. Using the first thing we need to do, there is a split, the, text by position, which is this one, by position. And then you put which positions do you want. So the first position always should be zero. So to start, it starts from the left all the way to the right, right? So zero. And then you have, want to have, zero is always four digits, or so four. So if we do this, zero, four, and we remove that one. is going to extract the first two. Now, the second is the tough one because math names have different lengths, right? So how do you do that? Well, easy. You go and you put text length. So you, you count how many letters there is on the header, and then you remove two to get the last position because you, you want to remove the two dates. You know, dates are always two digits. So you remove the last two. And you put the curly brackets. I learned the name of that thing. Curly bracket in there so it doesn't break. And then you have it. And then here you can say, oh, no, sorry. This is for each, not that one, not that one <laughs> that you need, this one. You can say, I want a space in between, or I want, as I had, a dash, or whatever you want. Then make sure that you select everything and pivot. And then you can, you know, here you can put date, and then you transform it to date, and then you have your dates. Okay? So, did I miss any? Is there any other that you want to have? And, Please, if you want me to understand what you need before and after, like I do here on the... Oh, there are some comments helpful for you. Okay. Um, no, here, like I do in here. So it says from camel casing to camel casing, to underscore, to underscore, to proper, to proper. So I, I understand clear what is that you're trying to do. Okay. But anyhow, there are a lot of examples there. The link with the, um, you know, the, the file will be available at uh, curval.com, community downloads, and then uh, 
number, I don't know, you, you will see it on the description box. I don't know which number it's going to get. So hopefully this is useful. And I see you again on the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.